Hey, this is Baylor from ScoobyDooByDoo.com, and I am going to teach you how to make a tsunami effect with jQuery. Um, it's one of the coolest effects I've ever seen, done with the um, on the internet, and it's created with the first the original guy that created it did it with Flash, which um, is hard to customize for a web page. So I took it upon myself to figure out how to do it with jQuery, and I accomplished it. So the first thing you all you have to do is download the jQuery UI, okay? So go to ui.jQuery.com forward slash download builder, okay? And um, I'll zoom into this URL quickly so you can see it a little bit better. I don't know how that's going to come out with the uh, video, but maybe it'll work. You never know. Um, you're just going to select all the components and download it, okay? Now it has a really long and funky name, and that's it right there. I renamed mine to just jQuery-UI. Um, I'm going to copy these two files and create a new folder on my desktop called a Tsunami. And just open that over in jQuery, or TextMate. I'm going to create a new file called this index.html. And rename this to Tsunami by scooby dooby doo Dot com and I'm going to come inside this folder and create another folder called JavaScript and paste my two jQuery files that I didn't copy like I thought I did. There we go. So you'll notice now you have your two JavaScript files and you also have... Okay, let's just go through the whole structure of this thing, shall we? Um, I'll switch over to my, our list view and zoom into this. So we have our index.html file. That's our main file that's going to hold everything. And then we're going to have our two JavaScript files, jQuery and jQuery-UI, which will create the entire effect alone, but we're going to style it with CSS. So that should be the structure of your file, folder, or directory. So if we go ahead and uh, look at this in our browser, Okay, you'll notice that we just have a basic web page. So let's go ahead and create this, uh, what we're going to use to make this work. So I'm going to create an unordered list with the ID of Tsunami. And finish this unordered list. I'm going to add a list item of, let's see, let's see, uh, free, let's see, tutorial. Yeah, I don't know, just peaches, pears, apples, um, let's see, uh, grapes, just a lot of useful information, huh? Um, oh, I can't think of another one. Uh, Peaches, pears, oranges. I cannot spell. There we go. Um, and bananas. Um, hard to choose there, isn't it? But uh, there we go. So we have our list items. Let's go ahead and add this make the tsunami effect. The first thing I want to do is go ahead and link my two JavaScript files. I'm pretty sure I haven't studied, read this. I just found the UI and saw the magnifier thing, and I decided to try to do something with it. But um, I think you have to add the UI after the main JavaScript core. I'm not for sure on that. I may be wrong, but that's what I do. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is just target or reset all the page values. So, just this is a really easy, quick, and easy way to do this to reset the margin of padding to all the elements in the page. So, you'll notice now we have new margin and padding. Um, I want to go ahead and change the tsunami though. Do have margin top at 30 pixels and to, yeah, that's. Oh yeah, and to have list style of none. And inside. And we're going to go back under our tsunami. And 
And for the list items, we want to add some padding to the left, get about 10 pixels. Um, get set the display to block, give them a height of 32 pixels, a width of 125 pixels, a background of 10, and margin top at 8 pixels. So basically this little bit right here will create this effect, okay? Also we're going to want to add our line height of 32 pixels as well. So You'll notice that now you have these little tabs sticking out of the side of the window that have little, their little labels and they look pretty, they don't look that bad. But, so now we've created our tabs, now we need to create the tsunami effect. So start your JavaScript, start with your jQuery function that just basically says when the page is fully loaded, we're going to want to start doing our little jQuery stuff. And this one's just going to target the tsunami. And she's going to add a function made by jQuery called magnifier. And we're just going to close those off. And when we look at it, you'll notice that you get kind of close to it. It starts working. And you'll notice that you have this little um, tsunami effect with the um, with jQuery. So what we want to do now is to add a parameter to this. Because when you hover over these things, these things get huge. You know? I mean, they're... I don't know how the values work exactly, but the default for the magnification and um, is one point or two, but I like one point three. If I magnification, okay, I just gotta. Okay, so let's hope that's spelled correctly. And it's not. I have a great spelling technique. Okay, so uh, reload the page, and you'll notice now you don't have such a big. Um, oh, now you now you're when they hover over, they don't get so big. But um, I set that to about 1.3, so it's just a real subtle, fairly bigger effect. Uh, so that looks a little bit better. I'm going to stick with 1.4, I think. So you'll notice now you have your real, it's just a really good, simple uh, jQuery effect that you can add as many of these list items as you want to this thing and it will work. So if I add a few more, you'll notice that you just, the navigation always works, right? So uh, you, <laughs> I like it personally. So um, thanks for watching this video. Hope you found it helpful. And uh, I will include the files on my website under the tutorials. You'll, you should see here. Let's just open it up real quick. I'll include it on the, my new website. Um, you'll notice the tutorials has a drop down, and I will include like a, I'll have a sources category under here, and you can find it and download it there. So thanks for watching this video, and check out the new website template. Um, it's at scooby and um, thanks for watching and goodbye.